India major player in recurve archery. Excellent, excellent start. To look there. The 30 year old is ranked 21st in the world. Mangal Singh Champia, 32 year old, ranked 31st in the world, emulating his teammate to look there and putting it in the 10 ring. And now a Tanu Das, only 24 years of age. Guy we've had our eye on for a couple of years now. Excellent young archer. Good solid start for the Indians. It'd be interesting to know if they had any communication with the women team just prior to this match because uh, we found that the arrows were going high of centre, but the men have certainly started on target. Larry Godfrey shooting from the left side, 39 years of age. Got it in the nine ring. Okay. Larry nice certainly is a veteran man. amongst the Get boys. He's been to a handful of Olympic games. Kieran Slater, the 22 year old, averaging just under nine points per arrow. Is that a fedora? that uh, Patrick Houston is sporting? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> I like the style. He's won it all week and... Uh, hey, if it works. Yeah, well, he, he obviously feels comfortable wearing it. He's spotting uh, different colored socks too, I mm -hmm. see. <laughs> Changing up the rotation a little bit. Atanu Das shooting fourth now after shooting third. They obviously want to look there to start off and then bring it home. So Champia, after the eight, puts India back right in the middle. And to look there, trying to put this set out of reach. Good shot. Ten. Which he does. So it is out of reach, and India has, for all intent and purposes, clinched the opening set. A great shooting by the Indian guys. 58 and a possible 60. It's great shooting. Five of the first six shots right in the middle. Larry Gottfried hey, gets into the middle ring. Hello, Larry, good. Found the spot. Smooth, strong shot. Now the youngster, Kieran Slater. Well done, guys. Following his elder's lead. They're ready for the next set. And the spiffy Patrick Houston. 20 years old, enjoying the moment here in Shanghai. Sends one again. Start. Good start from Larry. Smooth, strong shot, Kieran. A little confidence. And Slater with a solid effort. He's ranked 113th in the world. Houston, 90th in the world. And Patrick, the gold medalist at last fall's indoor stage stop in Marrakesh. Struggling just a bit right now. Yeah, just a little bit. I shot with um, Patrick Houston in the qualification, and he was certainly on target. He um, had a 3.42, which is, you know, up there with the best. But uh, just this morning, just not quite finding the mark. <laughs> Unlike the Indian team, which has certainly found their mark. To look, our tattoos another 10 up on the board. He'll slide back in the rotation and become the anchor man, so to speak, for this team. Mangal Singh Champia. Holding up his end of the bargain. He has been solid so far.
And Das has as well. Atanu Das shooting very well. The 24-year-old. Who we have seen on occasion in medal matches on the World Cup circuit. Holding an awfully long time. You see a bit of tension in that. But it paid off. Exactly. Exactly. Larry's a very strong and uh, competent competitor. And it takes a lot of strength to hold it that long. Oh, exactly. Casual observers might not really understand quite how strong you have to be. Just to draw it back and then hold, what, 50, 60 pounds? Yeah, the, um, probably the average, average bow weight these guys are drawing. And, and holding is uh, is about 50 pound. So um, obviously the longer you're holding, trying to aim, the harder it gets. And a great shot ah, there by Patrick. Patrick Houston. Patrick puts it where he wants it. Happier with that shot, obviously. And you just lose a bit of power. So just keep that smooth flow. But India has shown no signs of letting up. They're right around that center circle. Atanu Das with another good shot. They look very comfortable and, and relaxed, just executing the normal shots as if they were in practice. So this uh, certainly good, good uh, match for these guys. Mangal Singh Shampia with another 10 as he's going for his ninth World Cup medal. All would be in team competition. He's an excellent team shooter. Talukdar. Whether he's shooting with the team or shooting on his own, he is outstanding. That's a nine, and it's enough. Nine is enough to secure. Got nothing to lose. So they've just got to execute six good shots, and hopefully they can get back into the match. And make the change fee for their zone line tickets pay off. Exactly. Larry again holding a rather lengthy time. And again, it pays dividends. And that's the start they needed. <laughs> and he's sorry for relief. <laughs> he can exhale now. Exactly. Grimace on the face of Kieran Slater, and it shows why when it lands in the eight ring. Just a bit left, Kieran. And Patrick Houston, after kind of a little bit of a shaky start, has now found yeah. his rhythm and his groove. These last few shots have certainly been on target. 28 is certainly a solid start, but the way the Indians are shooting, the 30s would have been a lot better. And still may not have been enough. Although, having said that, Talukdar starts off with an 8. Does focus and concentration come into play now for India? They've got this commanding lead. Is certainly, it a little bit harder? Certainly. You know, in that sense, I guess. Each arch is just trying to really focus on their own technique. And, you know, people try and say, you put score out of your, out of your mind, but you can't. The scoreboard's right That's down there. Cool. You know the situation. You know what, uh, what score is required. And now the Indians are finding themselves behind in this set already. Tanu Das, 24 years old. And Das delivers a nine. So the thought process for now, the, the great Brit British team is now just to still <coughs> stay relaxed and shoot their regular normal shots. See how long uh, Larry Godfall's hold is this time. See that. Seems like an eternity, yeah. but yeah, it's working. It's for working. Him. Yeah. He's happy. <laughs> Whatever's working. Yep. It's a bottom line business, and right now, Larry Gottfried is coming through and shooting tens. Needs some help from Patrick Kieran. Uh, Kieran Slater, excuse me. Both his arrows are out there to the left. I'm not sure if there is any wind drift, but. Uh, Certainly both his shots are out, out there in the, the eight ring. So Slater with a pair of eights. And now another eight from Patrick Houston. 
and it puts uh, GBR in jeopardy right now. Exactly. It's certainly opened the door. At 28 from the Indians will uh, seal the deal. It would tie the set, split the points, and give India the one point that it needs. And there's 10 points towards that 28 that India was looking for. Atanu Das. India really developing depth on its team, both the men and the women. Champia with a nine. And now for the kill shot. Jayanta Tulukdar. With all the confidence in the world, draws it back. Takes dead aim down the middle, and it's over. India wins the set, wins the match, and blanks Great Britain six to nothing. An impressive display of shooting by the team from India here in the bronze medal match. Oh, exactly. I mean, they opened up with a 58, and uh, from then on there, they really didn't look back. The British team had a, an opportunity in the last set, but unfortunately, just uh, two eights sort of cost them for those uh, set points, but a really good and consistent shoot for the Indian team. And really, you look up and down this lineup for India, there's not a weak spot in that lineup right there. I really enjoy watching Atanu Das, and of course, we all know how good Talukdar is, and Mangal uh, Singh Champia is excellent in team competition. It's a good, solid team, and, and it's very surprising that they, they haven't got a team quota spot.